Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a small June book haul. So I did two book hauls in May and I think I hauled like 20 something books. So this small haul feels really, really refreshing. It's only five books, but I still wanted to share with you guys what I got. But before we go ahead and get on into the haul, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new bookish content. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down in the description box for links to all of my social media, my Buddy Read Discord, and my Patreon, where you can be entered into winning book giveaways from me. So once again, all of these books that I'm going to be showing you guys are gifts from you lovely folks, and you have no idea how much it means to me to receive gifts from my viewers and subscribers and patrons. It just makes me so happy and warm and fuzzy inside, and I love all of you. You're awesome and I just can't thank you enough. I don't expect anything from anybody so the fact that y'all just think enough to send me something is just amazing so thank you. The first book was sent to me by a bookish friend Jonathan and that is A Time of Blood by John Gwynn. This is book two in the Blood and Bone trilogy. I am currently in the middle of his Faithful and the Fallen series, and this series comes directly after. It takes place in the same world, but it's a hundred years after the events of the Faithful and the Fallen. And as far as I know, from what I can gather this series is about, it follows a warrior group of angels that are kind of policing the Banished Lands, and it follows a main character that wants to be part of like a protective force of these angels. And then we are also following a character that is, or has witnessed the rise of this demon race that shouldn't be there. So it sounds like it's going to be a battle between good and evil angels and demons. And I actually have the first, obviously I have the first book in this series, but I actually found it at a used bookstore. And I didn't know that it was a continuation of The Faithful and the Fallen. So I picked it up and I read the back and I was like, angels and demons, that sounds awesome. So I'm excited to have book two and I will definitely be jumping into this trilogy after I'm done with The Faithful and the Fallen. So thank you so, so much, Jonathan, for sending this to me. The next two books were sent to me by Patrick, who is just the coolest person, and he is my neighbor. He lives in the state next to me. And the first one is Of Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout. This is a series that I have seen a lot of on booktube, and it wasn't one that I was sure I wanted to read because it's more uh, fantasy romance, which isn't something that I normally pick up, but you know, sometimes it's good to have a nice smutty romance in your fantasy, and that's exactly what this is. And I've never read anything by this author before. I think she normally writes YA and this is adult, but we follow in this book a girl named Poppy and Poppy is known as a maiden. She is created or exists to usher in a new era and she is not supposed to be touched, looked at, talked to because she is revered in that way. All Poppy does is wait around for the day of her ascension. I don't really know what that means. I guess we'll find out, but she doesn't want any part of this. She wants to be out living a life, part of the guards, fighting. And then we follow a soldier named Hawk who is sent to help Poppy with her ascension and something develops between them, a relationship develops between them and we follow that storyline. And then there's also a storyline that follows a fallen kingdom that is rising up to take vengeance on the world. So we have the smutty romance plotline and then we have the fantasy plotline. This book is a lot denser than I thought it was going to be, but I've heard that the world and the magic system is very cool and I've heard that the romance is pretty good. So I'm excited to have this. So thank you, Patrick, for sending this to me. And then he got me one of my most anticipated summer <laughs> fantasy releases, and that is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. I was not expecting it to get this book. I had never even heard about it till I was doing research from that for that video. And I was like, this book sounds so, so good. So it's a Red Riding Hood retelling, but in this world, it follows a kingdom where the first uh, daughter born to the king and queen is the one that takes over the throne. And if there is a second daughter born, that daughter is sacrificed to the wolf of the woods. And we're following Red, who's the second daughter. And the reason that they sacrifice the second daughter is as like a bargaining chip for the wolf to release these gods that he has captured. But when Red is sacrificed to the wolf, she realizes that he's not a wolf at all. He's a human being and there's more to the gods than everyone in the kingdom thinks. 
and there's actually a reason that the wolf is keeping them captive. And I've heard that this book just has very fairy tale esque elements and an atmosphere. I'm really interested to see how our author spins the Red Riding Hood retelling. Plus, there'll probably be some sort of romance between Red and the wolf, so that'll be interesting to read about. So once again, I'm excited to have this, and thank you, Patrick, for sending it to me. The next book was sent to me by my friend Dom over at Dominish Books. If you have not checked out his channel, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards. Definitely check his content out. He is an awesome, avid fantasy reader and has read a ton of stuff that I've never even heard of. And he sent me Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett, which is one of the Discworld books. And obviously I know about Discworld. I've never read anything by Terry Pratchett. I've never read any of the Discworld books. And I really didn't know exactly what they were about until he explained it to me. But all of these books take place in the same universe, but each one of the books can be read on their own. And Terry Pratchett is known for incorporating a lot of humor and satire into his stories, and he alludes to a lot of popular fantasy uh, writers and stories like Tolkien and things like that, and also popular fairy tales that everyone is familiar with. And Dom said that Guards Guards was his favorite book, so that's why he got it for me. And he found this edition, which I am in love with. This book is absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm guessing there's gonna be a dragon in there because we got a dragon on the front and a burning city in the back. And I'm just in love with this. And it even has the bookmark. So thank you, Dom, so, so much for sending this to me. I'm definitely excited to have and read my first Discworld novel. And the next book was sent to me by Nico from Nico's Book Reviews, who once again has an awesome booktube channel. I will link him up into the cards, so you need to check his content out. He's a huge fantasy reader, loves Wheel of Time, loves uh, Kate Elliott, Crown of Stars, so a lot of those good traditional sword and sorcery books, so please check him out. But he sent me The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buhlman, which I was not expecting to get this book. And when I was doing my most anticipated um, fantasy and sci-fi releases of 2021 video at the beginning of the year, this was on it. So. I now have three Christopher Buhlman books that I need to get to, but in The Black Tongue Thief, we follow a character named, I think it's Kinch, and he is kind of like a hired hand, almost like a mercenary, but he does like small jobs like thievery and stuff like that. And one day he is commissioned to rob someone, and he ends up robbing a knight, a female knight, who just came back from these brutal goblin wars, and she is actually searching for a missing queen. So our main character decides to get involved or is coerced into getting involved with this knight and helping her search for this missing queen. The world sounds really interesting. We have, like I said, goblin wars. There was something about a kraken in here. So we have maybe some mythology woven in, but definitely I'm interested to get to this book and see if Christopher Buhlman is an author that I really enjoy. So Nico, I appreciate you sending this to me. Thank you so, so much. All right, guys, that is it for my small June book haul, just five books this time. Let me know in the comments if you have gotten any new books in the month of June or if you have read any of these and what you thought of them or if you're interested in reading any of them. And I will see you all soon in another video. Goodbye.